Good evening, this is The Late Report. Well, cigarette companies say that if King County passes laws to restrict the use and advertising of tobacco products, they might sue. They say it's also possible that they might confess that they've been lying all along about the dangers of tobacco, but admit that if they had to guess between the two, it would probably be the one where they sue. <laughs> the Seafair Hydroplane course has been moved closer to shore to allow a Blue Angels show that doesn't fly over spectators. Seafair officials say that it's much safer to have a 200 mile per hour boat making tight turns close to shore. <laughs> Scientists say that uh, next year they may move Keiko, the orca whale, to a pen in the icy waters of the North Atlantic. If so, the new move will be documented in a movie called Freeze Willy. <laughs> the publisher of The Stranger says rumors that his alternative weekly is being sold are, quote, wrong and totally screwed up. Coincidentally, wrong and totally screwed up is also the title of a new category for people seeking dates in the stranger personal ads. <laughs> the Portland Oregonian ran a story showing that a washing machine soap product called the Laundry Solution doesn't work. In a related story, the, the Seattle PI ran an expose that thoroughly discredits those x-ray glasses advertised in the back of comic books. <laughs> King County Executive Ron Sims released a report showing that even without the Mariners and the Seahawks, the Kingdom could bring in over $687,000 profit per year. That is, of course, if the Dome could be rented out on the weekends for all-night raves. <laughs> The Evergreen State College in Olympia is the only university in the state that doesn't own tobacco stocks because of an ethical stand against the tobacco companies. An Evergreen spokesman said that while he's proud of the anti-cigarette sentiment of many of the students, he can't quite figure out why they're always bumming matches off him. <laughs> Finally, a Moses Lake map maker used new, snazzier sounding names for several geographic features in an effort to make eastern Washington more appealing to tourists. As a result, the town of Ellensburg will from now on be known as Bitchenburg. <laughs> it's been a late report.